Forest and domain functional levels in an Active Directory domain controller allows us to control the lowest level of server that will allow to be a domain controller in our network. Let's take a look at how that works. I'm going to go to Tools and go to Active Directory Domains and Trusts. There's multiple different ways to get to this area, but this area covers both the forest and the domain level. So if I right click on the Active Directory Domain Forest, I'm going to choose to raise the forest functional level. And here's where things get a little bit strange. And that is Microsoft stopped changing the forest functional level at Windows Server 2016. And there could be many different reasons for doing that. But we can also change the domain level. And once again, it is stopped at 2016. So if you've installed at least a Windows Server 2016, by default, the functional level of both the domain and the forest are as high as they can go. There is speculation that it is because Microsoft at around Windows Server 2016 started focusing more on Azure products and decided that the on-premises products did not need that type of an upgrade. However, since most organizations are still using on-premises Active Directory now and for the foreseeable future, it's likely that that was an error in judgment. By upgrading to a newer forest and domain, Microsoft changes a lot of different things that are in the background. But one thing that it changes that's easy to see is in the foreground, and that's when it comes to group policies. The newest versions of the forest and domain functional level are going to see more group policies than they saw in the older versions. So if I expand the group policies, you can see all these different policies that are here, and you can see a lot more of them in the newer version. You'll also see references to newer client operating systems as well. Some of these different client operating systems in the group policies point to older versions in lower forest and domain functional levels. For instance, you might see Windows XP, say back in the Windows 2003 and 2008 days, but now we're seeing references to Windows 10. It's unknown yet if Microsoft plans on upgrading the force and functional level again in the future, but for now, the highest level that we can go is going to be Server 2016.